Following an outbreak of fall armyworm that affected most of Greenskin projects some three years ago, plantations at these irrigation farms were reduced from about 3,000 hectares to just over 1,000. This was also compounded by lack of adequate capital to maximize operations and further expand. But AgriBizDev is hopeful for a good harvest from the cultivated land this year. It's a noble initiative that uh, um, the government and the uh, private sectors and individual alike collectively we have to uh, sort of uh, support such an initiative of having small and medium scale farmers. Uh, and that, that, in that way we can actually see the transformation and the sort of uh, graduation of small scale farmers to medium scale farmers and eventually to commercial uh, farming. Harvesting is expected to be completed during the course of this month as planting started late. Uwanga, however, complained that lack of capital was the main impediment to ensuring maximum utilization of its available land to produce more. For the maize, which is our main crop, we would not settle for anything less than 9.5 metric tons. Anything below 9.5 metric tons will be considered as a, um, below um, average production and uh, sort of like a failure to us. Namibia's consumption of maize stands at about 120,000 metric tons per year and Wanga said the shortfall would have to be imported from elsewhere. AgribizDev also is in the process of putting together another irrigation project at Liselo in the Zambezi and zoning in the Kavango West regions, which are expected to come into operation late this year. The Green Schemes further want to increase the animal feed production, especially in Lucerne, to support farmers affected by the drought. Jeff Tashihomino, NBC News, Venduk.